Studying cells and their processes is important for our understanding of human health and disease. One process that many cells undergo throughout their lifetime is cell division. My thesis focuses on a protein called amylin that is known to be important for cell division. More specifically, amylin is important for cytokinesis, the last step in cell division in which the contractile ring pinches one cell into two daughter cells. Cells that lack amylin often fail to divide. Because amylin is important for proper cell division, amylin is important for any process that requires normal cytokinesis. So for example, amylin is important for homeo tissue homeostasis as well as normal growth and development. Amylin is also related to cancer. Amylin has been found to be overexpressed, meaning that there is too much amylin in human tumor cells. Amylin has also been correlated to the metastatic potential of cancer cells. My lab found an additional role for amylin within cells. We know that amylin is important for cytokinesis, however my lab uncovered a role for amylin in cell-cell junctions. Cell-cell junctions are complex structures that are composed of many proteins and are at the interface between two cells and couple them together within a tissue. My thesis focuses on further determining amylin's role at cell-cell junctions. Amylin interacts with many binding partners, yet we don't know which, one, which of these interactions are important for amylin's role at junctions. I aim to determine amylin's functions at junctions by generating and testing different mutants of amylin. These mutants disrupt amylin's interactions with other proteins. So by looking at my mutants and then looking at different junction proteins, I can determine what interactions are important for the proper formation of junctions. I will test my mutants by using Xenopus slavis or African clawed frog embryos. By injecting this mutant RNA into the embryos, I can then use confocal microscopy to visualize and then quantify the proteins of interest in a natural environment where cells are naturally forming junctions and making contact with their neighbors. Amylin and cell-cell junctions proteins are well conserved from frog to humans, allowing my research about amylin to be applicable to humans as well. By understanding amylin's mechanisms and epithelial tissues, we can hope to better understand how amylin's misregulation may contribute to cancer and tissue related disease.